Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing something new because I love reading and I'm always like in a rut of what books to read and I find that I read so much more and so much faster when I actually can find good books. So I've been on Book Talk and I picked out five books that were available in my library that I want to read. So I'm going to be reading five books and reviewing them honestly and seeing if they live up to the Book Talk hype. So I ordered them um, in order of their least star rating to their highest star rating on Goodreads because I don't know anything about these books. I haven't even read the summary, so I'm really just going to jump into this. I've tried to stay away from any spoilers on Book Talk. First, we have Wilder Girls by Rory Power. Then We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Then These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. So I'm very excited and I'm starting off with Wilder Girls because that got a 3.5 star rating, I think. And in the grand scheme of things, 3.5 stars is it's pretty good. But um, then we'll be going up to Six of Crows, which has 4.5 stars, that's the highest one. So I'm very, very excited to start this. So I've given myself a few weeks to do this. Hopefully if these books are good I'll read through them quickly. I honestly have no idea so I guess we'll see but let's get started with Wilder Girls. Okay it's a few days later and I finished the first two books. I read so much in the past two days. Um, I went on a little outing so we were in the car for about five hours and I read for probably half of that I'd say. So I finished the first book in one day so I finished Wilder Girls and then I finished the second book We Were Liars in like four hours so I definitely have been cruising through these but the next book seems to be a little bit longer um a lot more words on each page I think so I'm gonna give you guys my review of Wilder Girls so I did enjoy it it wasn't quite my thing so I think I'm gonna give it like a three out of five star it wasn't a bad storyline. I'm just more into like, more like dystopian. They could definitely have taken the talks and made it more into like dystopian. I don't know. It just wasn't exactly my kind of book. Um, and also it hit kind of close to home with like COVID, you know, and the talks just like being trapped. It was just a little too, you know, familiar. Um, also, both of these books, um, Wilder Girls and We Were Liars, take place in New England, so it was nice because I know New England, so I could, like, visualize the setting, so I really liked that. But, um, yeah, Wilder Girls wasn't really my favorite, and I wouldn't say it was the absolute best quality of writing either, so three out of five stars, I think. And I haven't seen too much of this one on Book Talk, so I don't think it's super big, but I did see it. On Barnes and Noble's book talk section on the website so it's got to be out there somewhere okay so for We Were Liars I flew through this book it was so good it's like poetry the whole thing but like still carrying a storyline and I was shocked at the end I will not be spoiling these books for you guys so I would recommend like either reading through them once you hear my recommendations and then coming back to this video to hear what I think of it because I really don't want to spoil the plot for you guys because I want you to read them. So We Were Liars was so good and I definitely want to buy this book and put it on my shelf because on my shelves I have like some of my favorite books that I like to read again and I will definitely be reading this one again. Um, even just it like reminded me of Outer Banks like in the beginning how everything's all like happy they're on this island together you know kind of Outer Banks ish but then I'm not gonna spoil it but it gets really good so I'm gonna give this one like a four and a half star out of five if I can do half stars if I can't do half stars I'm just gonna round it to five stars because I really really liked it and the only thing that I would dock down on it is that it was kind of sad at the end I'm not the biggest fan of like sad books but this this one was just so good I couldn't put it down so definitely definitely read this one but next I'm on to These Violent Delights, which definitely has a lot more words on the pages. And this thing is pretty giant, so 440 pages, so really big. 
Should take me a few more days than the other ones. Um, I probably won't be cruising through it. Those two were pretty short. But um, now we're getting to the books that have like over a four star rating on Goodreads. So hopefully they'll be getting better. But like I don't know how we can improve from We Were Liars. That one was really good. So yeah, I will see you guys back in a few days when I've finished these Violent Delights. So it's been a little over a week, I think, and I finished the next book. So I read These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. And this book was interesting. So it's set in the 1920s, I think, which was really interesting to see, like, a different, you know, era in a different place. But I'm not exactly sure if all of the details were 100% historically accurate. Um, it just seemed like some of the, like, medical technology was a little bit, you know, not accurate. Maybe I just don't know my history, which is very likely, but it didn't quite seem like it was completely on point with, um, 1920s technology. It was a pretty good book. Um, in the beginning I was like, oh, this is kind of gross. Maybe I don't want to read this one. I mean, it wasn't nearly as bad as Wilder Girls was in grossness factor, but I don't know, it just, it wasn't really my thing. So it was well written and it did have a decent plot, but I'm going to give it like maybe like a three and a half star rating because it wasn't exactly my thing, but it was still a good book as books go. So three and a half stars, I guess. I think that's good for what it was. Um, but now that I'm starting the next book, I forget which one it is, but um, it's definitely shaping up to be even worse than this one was. I'm not super into like fairy stuff so this next one is kind of in that realm so I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna like it but we'll see so I'll be back when I finish the next one. So I finished the last two books and then it's time to give the ratings. So the second to last book was called The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and this book was interesting so it's about like fairies and humans being taken to fairy to live with the fairies and I'm not really into that kind of like you know mythical creatures I don't know how to explain how I like Harry Potter and not this one but this one is a lot more out there I guess this was definitely not my favorite book I don't know how to explain why it was just a little bit too out there for me it definitely did expand my horizons although I don't think I would read I don't know if it has a sequel but I don't think I would read it if there is a sequel so I think I'm gonna rate this book maybe like a two and a half star rating if you're into like fairy stuff go ahead and read it it's not a bad book per se it's got a pretty good plot I'm just not really into that kind of stuff so yeah, definitely not my favorite book ever, but let's move on to the last book, which is called Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, if that's how you say it, I do not know. But this book was pretty good, I liked it, um, definitely better than the last two. This book was pretty good, um, it's kind of still a little bit of fantasy, but it's not nearly as far out there as The Cruel Prince was. Um, it does have like a few magical elements, but it's a lot more realistic although the whole world in it is um, a fantasy world it's made up it just does seem a little bit closer to you know like our day-to-day -day life here on earth um, but it still wasn't quite what I like but I did like that it had like the elements of like crime and you know that kind of stuff I do enjoy more like the I don't want to say I, I enjoy violence but <laughs> I enjoy reading about violence more than I like fairies and that kind of thing so I did like this book a decent amount I'd say I will give this book like a four star rating because it wasn't absolutely my favorite book ever um, I don't really think having the magic in it added too much so it could have probably just stood without it and even been a little bit more interesting um, if there was like I don't know if they had to get around things other ways than using magic um, but it did really remind me of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, if you've read it. Um, it just kind of has the same, like, same kind of vibe, although that one is set on Earth. It does remind me of that for some reason. Um, but yeah, I did like this book a lot. I don't want to spoil the plot for you guys, so I'm not going to explain it too much. But I would definitely recommend this one. So, now the time has come to rate these in order. So, I guess kind of my ratings show 
what how I would put them. So We Were Liars is definitely my top book. I probably am going to read this again before I return it because it was just so good. I loved it. So We Were Liars is number one. Then Six of Crows because I did like it a decent amount. There were some things that I think could have been a little better but um, it was still a very decent book. Then These Violent Delights because although it was very very long it has all the elements of a good book. It's you know, it has that violence that I like. That sounds really bad. I, I don't like violence. I, just, I like reading about it, though. These Violent Delights was pretty good. Um, definitely wasn't my favorite, but it was up there. Next, I'm going to put The Cruel Prince, because although it wasn't my favorite, I think I liked it better than Wilder Girls. So, Wilder Girls is the last one. It just, it hit too close to home. Like I said, a little bit too, you know, with the pandemic, too close. Um, and also it was kind of gross at times talking about like what happens when they have the talks so I didn't really like that part of it um I don't know it was just kind of like the whole vibe of it was kind of depressing so I will not be reading that one again I would definitely read We Were Liars again and maybe Six of Crows and I'm pretty sure Six of Crows is a series so maybe I will continue into the series but yeah, I really had a lot of fun reading these books. Um, these were books that I probably would not have picked up um, any other time. And I got to the library and I got to see them. So I think it was a really fun challenge for me. So I hope you enjoyed seeing me read these books and hear what I think about them. Um, I think I would recommend all these books, to be honest, if you're looking for something, you know, not too dense, not too intense of a read, but still like a decent plot. All of these were really good books. Um, not necessarily my favorite per se, but I think you should read them if you, you know, enjoy kind of what I described in my review. So yeah, let me know what you think of like reading videos because I had a lot of fun with this. So, and also it encourages me to read more. So let me know if you want to see some more of these. There are a lot more books out on Book Talk that I would like to check out. So maybe I can make another video about this if you guys want. But yeah, let me know. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at GetOutdoorsBook.com and I'll see you guys later. Bye!